everyone and welcome. I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and today we are going to learn how to crochet the Stormy Seas Shawl. Now as you can see here from the picture this is a triangle shawl and it features these waves of texture. Uh, I will show you a little bit of my sample one here. So this is it here. This is the uh, middle corner down there and you can see it features these bobble stitches has a little bit of uh, open work there and then some moss stitches as well because of the variety of stitches I have classified this as an intermediate pattern however once you get the stitches down and the pattern down it is quite easy to work uh, the shawl is worked as one piece and there is no edging afterward. It's just you work the pattern until it's the size you desire and then you're finished. So it's quite easy. For my shawl, I have worked, uh, used two of the big Karen cakes. Let's see if I can show you. I'll bring that camera back here a little bit. So these are the Karen cakes by Your Inspirations. I'm using the color Night Berry. You're going to need two of these. It's a 100% acrylic worsted weight yarn, and each cake has approximately 603 yards of yarn. You are going to need the full two of them. So if you're substituting for a different yarn, you're going to need the full uh, 1,206 yards for the shawl. Okay, you're also going to need a six millimeter crochet hook and a yarn needle and scissors for weaving in your ends. The free written crochet pattern can be found on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com and I will have the direct link for you there in the description of this video. So thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first time or you haven't already, uh, check out some of the other videos here on my channel and of course don't forget to subscribe. So let's grab our hooks and our yarn and we're going to get together and crochet the Stormy Seas Shawl. Now for the tutorial today, the Stormy Seas Triangle Shawl is uh, a series of repeats in the pattern. So for the tutorial today, we're actually only going to be working rows 1 through to 18 because that's where uh, the repeat begins. So we're going to work together rows 1 through to 18 and uh, then you'll have hopefully a hang of the pattern and then you can repeat from then on uh, and of course feel free go on over and grab that written crochet pattern it'll be a big help as well so to start for my shawl I began by making a magic ring for my magic ring I simply cross my yarn over like I would a slip knot grab a hold of that working end and pull it up and then I just kind of hold on to my ring until it's time to tighten it uh, at the end. Another option for you if you don't like making the magic ring is chain two and then work this first row into that second chain from your hook. Okay so you can either make a magic ring or chain two and work this first row into that second chain. For row one, you're going to chain one, or if you're the chain, uh, if you've chained two and you're working into that second chain, you don't need to chain one. If you're working your magic ring, chain one, and you're going to single crochet into the center of your ring, chain two, and single crochet once again into your ring. At this time, you can tighten your magic ring. That's the end of row one. You're then going to chain one and turn your work. Next, row two, you're going to single crochet into that first single crochet stitch. Chain one then into your chain two space, you're going to work a single crochet, chain two, 
single crochet. Chain one and single crochet into your final single crochet stitch. You should see at this point your triangle is starting to form. Next, you're going to chain one and turn your work. For row three, you're going to single crochet into that first single crochet stitch, chain one, then into the next chain one space, work one single crochet stitch. Chain one, into the next chain two space, work a single crochet, chain two, and single crochet, chain one, into your next chain one space, work a single crochet, chain one, and single crochet into your final single crochet stitch. Chain one and turn your work. Row four, you're going to single crochet into the first single crochet stitch, chain one, single crochet into the first chain one space and chain one and you're going to do that for a total of two times. So single crochet in the chain one space, chain one then repeat, single crochet into the next chain one space and repeat. Into your chain two space you'll work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet, chain one, single crochet into the next chain one space, chain one, and repeat one more time. Single crochet into the next chain one space, chain one, and then single crochet into your final single crochet stitch. You may by now have noticed that there is a little bit of pattern. We are working the moss stitch. You're going to chain one and turn your work and we'll begin row five. For row five, you're going to single crochet into that first single crochet stitch, chain one, single crochet into the first chain one space, chain one, and you're going to repeat that for a total of two more times, so for a total of three times. Single crochet, chain one, single crochet in the chain one space, chain one, single crochet into the chain one space, chain one, and into your chain two, single crochet, chain two, single crochet. Chain one, into the next chain one space, single crochet, repeat that all the way to your last stitch. Single crochet in the next chain one space, chain one, single crochet in the next chain one space, chain one, and single crochet into your final single crochet stitch. That brings you to the end of row five. You're going to chain one and turn your work. We're going to work one more row of that moss stitch. So single crochet into the first stitch, chain one, single crochet into the chain one space, and chain one, repeat that all the way across. It will be a total of four times up to your chain two space. Into your chain two space, work a single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. Repeat the moss stitch all the way across, so chain one, 
single crochet in the chain one space, chain one, single crochet in the chain one space, chain one, all the way across. Your final chain one, and then single crochet into that final single crochet stitch. At the end of row six, you're going to chain four and turn your work. Now in row seven, we're going to vary the pattern a little bit. You've chained four, and your chain four is going to count as a double crochet and a uh, chain one, okay? So then we're going to work double crochets and chain ones all the way across. So we've chained four, which counts as a double crochet, we've chained one. So we're then going to, in our first chain one space, we're going to work one double crochet stitch. Chain one, into the next chain one space, work a double crochet, and you're going to repeat that all the way across to your chain two space. So chain one, double crochet in the chain one space. All the way across. When you come to your chain two space, you're going to work a double crochet, chain two, and double crochet all into that chain two space. You're now going to repeat your double crochets and chain ones all the way across the other side. So chain one, double crochet into the next chain one space, chain one, and double crochet in the chain one space all the way across. When you come to your final single crochet, you chain one and double crochet into that final single crochet stitch. You're then going to chain one and turn your work. For row eight, you're going to single crochet into that first double crochet stitch. We're now going to work a row, two rows of the moss stitch. So single crochet into that first double crochet, chain one, single crochet into the first chain one space, chain one, single crochet into the next chain one space. Repeat that all the way across to your chain two space. Into your chain two, you're going to single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. Chain one, and then work your single crochets and chain one across. So single crochet in the first chain one space, chain one, and repeat. When you come to your final chain four, you'll remember it was a double crochet and a chain one. So you are going to single crochet into that chain one space, then chain one, and single crochet into the top of, the, uh, of that uh, chain three. So into the third chain of your chain four. like so. We're then going to chain one, turn our work, and work one more row of the moss stitch. Single crochet in that first stitch, chain one, single crochet into the first chain one space, chain one, and repeat across.
when you come to your chain two, single crochet, chain two, single crochet all into the same space, chain one, and moss stitch across. come to your last single crochet, chain one, and single crochet into that final stitch. That brings you to the end of row nine. You're going to chain one, turn your work, and we're going to add a little bit more texture to our shawl. Now for row 10, we're going to start to add in some bobble stitches. So what you're going to do for row 10 is you're going to single crochet into that first stitch chain one and then you're going to work your first bobble into that first chain one space. To make your bobble stitch you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that chain one, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops and you're going to do that for a total of four times. So for three more times we're going to repeat all in the same stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook into that chain one space, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops on your hook. Two more times, yarn over, insert your hook into the first chain one space, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, and one more time, insert your hook. Once you have five loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and draw through all five loops on your hook. You're then going to chain one and then single crochet into the next chain one space. Your bobble stitch is going to push out to the back so you will see it popping out the back of your work there which is going to be the front of your shawl. You're then going to repeat that all the way across. So chain one into the next chain one space, work a bobble stitch. Chain one and single crochet into the next chain one space. Repeat that all the way across to your chain two space. When you come to your chain two space, you're going to chain one and you are going to work one bobble into the chain two space. Then chain two and work one more bobble stitch also into that chain two space. Chain one, single crochet into the next chain one space, chain one and then bobble and repeat that all the way across to your final stitch. When you come to your final single crochet, you'll chain one and single crochet into that final single crochet stitch. You're then going to chain one and turn your work and you can now see your bobble stitches there in your last row. And we're going to start row 11 and row 11 and 12 are more of that moss stitch pattern. So you've chained one, single crochet into that first single crochet stitch, 
chain one, single crochet into the first chain one space, which is in between that single crochet and your bobble stitch. So single crochet into that space, chain one, you're going to skip your bobble, single crochet into the next space, chain one, skip the single crochet, single crochet into the chain one space, and repeat that all the way across. When you come to your chain two space, you're going to single crochet into the chain two, chain two, and single crochet all in the same space. Then chain one, single crochet in the next chain one space. Repeat that all the way across. single crochet into your final single crochet, chain one, and turn your work. For row 12, you're going to simply repeat that last row of moss stitches. So repeat row 11. the end of this row, this row 12, you're going to chain four and turn your work. At the end of your row 12, chain four, turn your work, and your row 13 is going to be more of these double crochet and chain stitches. So your chain four counts as a double crochet stitch and a chain one. So you're going to work your first double crochet into that chain one space. Then chain one, double crochet in the next chain one space. Repeat that all the way across. When you come to your chain two space, you're going to double crochet, chain two, and double crochet into that chain two space. Then chain one and double crochet in the chain one spaces all the way across. When you come to your first stitch there, back uh, over across to the end, you're going to work a double crochet into that final stitch, and then chain one and turn your work. Now for rows 14 through to 18, we're going to work five rows of the moss stitch pattern. So single crochet into that first double crochet, chain one, single crochet into your chain one space, chain one, repeat that all the way across to your chain two, then in your chain two, you'll single crochet, chain two, and single crochet just as you did for the other moss stitch rows and then repeat that 
all the way across. So you're going to do that for a total of five rows. This is rows 14 through to 18. At the end of your row 18, you're going to chain four and turn your work. So continue to work that five rows of your moss stitch pattern. Remembering when you get to your center chain two, you're working a chain, a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet into that space. And uh, then meet me back here once you've completed those five rows of moss stitch. So at the end of row 18, this is what your work is going to look like. So this is uh, the straighter edge of our shawl up here. And then if I turn it around, there's our point. I've now worked five rows of this moss stitch pattern. From here on out, so for rows 19 through to 95, and it sounds like a lot, but uh, don't worry, it's not too bad, trust me. Um, so for rows 19 through to 95, it is a repeat of what you have done right here. The repeat begins at row seven, which is this row of double crochet stitches down here. So you'll have, this is row seven, your row of double crochet stitches, followed by two rows of moss stitches, a row of bobble stitches, two rows of moss, one row of double crochet, and then five rows of moss stitch. Okay, and then you're going to repeat back down to the double crochet and so forth. So you're going to work that repeat for a total of six times, and then you're going to repeat rows seven, so this double crochet, through to 11, which brings you to the uh, moss stitch row right after this bobble stitch row. You're going to repeat that one more time. So the final edge of your shawl is going to be your bobbles, followed by one row of moss stitch. That'll be the final edge of your shawl. The shawl, when it's completed, uh, measures approximately 38 inches at this widest point here. And then across, it's going to measure um, 75 inches from the two corners. Okay, so it is a, a good size shawl. It's one that's great to kind of throw over your shoulders while you're reading or running out the door. Um, it's uh, just a good size. So go ahead and uh, finish working your Stormy Seas shawl. And uh, when you're finished, feel free to tag me across social media. I love to see your finished work or join the Rich Textures Crochet community group on Facebook. You can find it through the Facebook page there. And uh, yeah, share photos of your work uh, and tag me on uh, social media. So thank you once again for joining me and uh, have fun and until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.